as part of my home automation series. This will be the second video on the Zeus ZN71 switch. Eventually, I will be posting these training videos in my stand store at this web address. Continuing to look at the Zeus ZN71 800 series on off switch, we'll be looking at using it to replace three-way switches in your home. A three-way switch is a type of electrical switch that allows you to control a single light or set of lights from two different locations. It is commonly used in hallways or large rooms where you want to turn the lights off and on from either end. In a three-way switch setup, two switches are connected to the same light fixture, enabling this dual control functionality. Several wiring schemes can be used to connect three-way lighting circuits depending on the location of the source in relation to the switches and lights. These wiring diagrams shown here show typical connections to standard single pole double throw switches. Now let's look at how we will connect a Zeus ZN71 switch to this existing three-way switch setup. This is option one with the load and line in the same box. The diagrams show all the connections but the ground. The ground wire was excluded in order to simplify the illustrations. This first diagram illustrates the connections using regular double pole single throw switches that you will be converting. You'll usually see the power in the box in this box a bundle of black wires if uh, it's a double or triple box and the black wire from your 14.3 Romex will be connected to another black most likely your lights instead of being connected to the switch. This option can have a few variations depending on the creativity of the electrician who first wired the three-way switch. This diagram illustrates the connections replacing the left-hand illustrated switch with the Zeus Z-Wave switch. If you can't match this diagram directly, the Zeus manufacturers are very responsive, so contact them and they'll provide you with assistance. This is option two, with the load and line in separate boxes. You'll usually see the black from your 14.3 Romex connected directly to the switch on both sides. This can also be wired using different parts of the 14.3 as travelers. So if the diagram doesn't absolutely match, don't experiment. Contact the manufacturer first. Option three, two point control of Zeus switches. There are a few different scenarios that may match your setup better, but they'll all include a situation where the power line, also called the power source or line, is located by the light and not in the switch boxes. This is bad news because Zeus switches need direct connection to the power and neutral in order to work. If you can't bring power and neutral to one of the boxes, you won't be able to use Zeus or most other Z-Wave in-wall switches. If you're unsure about the wiring process or are unable to match your wiring to the provided diagrams, don't proceed with the installation. Take images of your installation and reach out to the manufacturer if you have any questions or experience any issues. If you are ready to elevate your living space with home automation, now is the perfect time to transform your home into a smart, efficient household. In order to explore an incredible range of innovative products that cater to all your smart home needs, simply go to this web address. Don't miss out on exclusive discounts available for a limited time. Take the first step towards a smarter home and discover how easy it is to enhance your lifestyle with cutting edge technology. 
your dream home awaits you. And I would remind you that there is no cost or no charge for simply looking at what's available. And remember, this video has been brought to you by PSPT, where you will find electrical training videos when you go to this web address, which will also give you a free copy of my 50-page crib sheets that you can use while viewing any of my courses, or just keep it handy during your everyday work.